Welcome to Chitvan, a magical place close to the Indian border. This is one of our favorite videos, so we hope you will like it as much as we do. So here we are, <laughs> we are going for a little walk here in Chitvan. Yeah, just outside the national park in a buffer zone. And it's gonna be with a guide. It's not gonna be like too long, but um, we are with our camouflage clothes, you know, dark and something like brown, yes, greenish. We are not allowed to uh, wear any kind of yellow, red or white colors. We have to like blend into the nature. And we have the trousers we got tailored in India. I think they're gonna get ruined a bit. But let's see. Tomorrow we have a full day walk in the jungle in the national park. So yeah, we are just gonna get a little taste now. And what we are hoping to see, David? Let's hope we're gonna see some rhino, some deers, which is very common. Maybe tiger, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and the bear. Very positive, but let's see. <laughs> And the tour agency that we chose is a Nepal Eco Dynamic Tours, probably the only sustainable, real sustainable agency here in Chitwan. They don't support uh, elephant ridings and do sort of bad things. So yeah, we are very happy to go with them on this jungle walk tour. Can't wait. So here we are with uh, Narayan. Yes. Yes. He's our guide and he's going to be our guide for tomorrow as well, as well as another person because it's yes. mandatory to have in the national park two guides. Yes. Um, escorting you, protecting you and everything. So yeah. yeah, let's go. On the left, you can see the wildlife hospital and on the right, there is the government elephant stable. They use the elephants to patrol the national park and also do the animal census. It didn't look like the elephants were kept in the best conditions, so that was quite sad to see. The river rainforest. Birdie. Bird nest. Yeah. What are the feeling good? There yes. is one beautiful we bird saw one. Bird nest. It's covered by sal forest. Sal forest. Sal means it's kind of trees which is very strong. So before nineteen seventy three this park is a big hunting playground. Mm -hmm. So the country rulers they invite their guests from the Europe, America wherever, even from India, and they use an elephant, this type of elephant, which you refer, and go into the park and on the big hand. Mm. Mm. From the elephant down yeah. like yeah. this. Yeah. This is the buffer zone where anyone can come, but at your own risk. In Chitman Park, you can find 50 mammal species, over 525 birds, and 55 amphibians and reptiles. The most famous animals are the one-horned rhinos, the royal Bengal tiger, the gur, which is an Indian bison, slot bears, and of course, wild elephants. So it's getting dark, there was some wind, no rhino, you know, like the wind is not something that animals like very much. We saw a couple of deers, actually a big group, like 30 of them, and a couple of peacocks. And what was the other animal name? A jackal. We saw a bit, uh, two of them running, and one was very close to us but went inside the bush. 
so let's see you tomorrow for a full day of jungle walk safari so good morning here we are at the entrance of the national park we are waiting for the army i think they are still sleeping but uh, yeah as soon as we get the ticket we can enter with our guides who both will have like a stick the only thing to defend us if we get attacked uh, David be ready to run he will get chased by a rhino or an elephant sometimes can happen especially with uh, solo elephants and uh, it's so cool behind me we are overlooking uh, at the national park and there's like this hazy thing at the end over there it's so like mystical so cool first animal of the safari it's even coming to us look how sweet <laughs> so sweet oh, big animal look <laughs> yes yes yeah, big, <laughs> big big very big <laughs> oh how sweet this animal in the national park so what's your name what's your name has it ever happened to you that you had to use the stick are you serious right now bro Slowly. Yeah. You check it <laughs> Crossing the lake soon. The river. Oh, crossing the river soon. <laughs> <laughs> We got a lift, so we're gonna take first a jeep. And then we get uh, drop off in a cool place, apparently. And we're gonna start to walk from there and all day. And for David, it's the first safari. The first and a very unique one, walking one. Yeah, we got off from the jeep and now we're gonna start the walking part. <laughs> So our second guide Ram went inside to look for uh, footprints and we're gonna wait here for a while because it's a good uh, crossing point for animals. Mm, 
juicy, fresh, gore cookie. So we broke a bit the rules and guess what happened? We got caught and we got scolded. You should not leave the official path for the actual jungle. <laughs> Did you renew it? Who will be the responsible person? That uh, is the problem. Okay. Yeah. You guys want to eat me? So somebody said that a tiger was in this area and we are gonna wait here for a while hoping to see it from one side or the other. We got a bear hole here. We are getting close to the river. We made a place up. Soon it's gonna be shade. Just by the river. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the peacock is still alive. Yes. <laughs> It's a lot of one place. We can smell the pee and we can see that animal mark is territory. Which animal? Tiger. Tiger, of course. <laughs> Very smelly his pee, huh? Yeah. Bear. <coughs> Bear prince. The jungle walk safari is an intense journey not only for the heat and the kilometers you will have to do, but also for your senses. The most exciting thing for us was spotting the animals but also finding their footprints and noticing the strong smell they may leave just before you on that same path. It was very cool, like, I was scared it was like a tiger. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to protect myself, but I have the two gentlemen here as well. The sounds uh, they make is like uh, horrible. Sometimes yeah. people are afraid with the sound. Yeah, very, very loud, but they were huge. We managed yeah. to capture it. Yeah. Just before lunch. <laughs> Just before lunch. Yeah, and I'm keep on recording the, the lunch that is not running away from us. <laughs> <laughs> We are on a tower that is normally patrolled uh, by the um, National Park uh, officers. We're gonna rest here. Another viewpoint tower. Let's see if we can uh, spot some animals crossing. It's called hornbill. Oh. Similar like tucan. Oh, you know tucan? Yes. Yeah. There were lots of marks, footprints, and we spotted some animals. We were grateful, of course, but a little disappointed. We knew this would have not been a visit to a regular zoo. We just felt unlucky compared to what another couple encountered on that same day. 
but we kept our eyes open and made our way to Rhino's favorite area. No rhinos at first, but wild boars staring at us. You can see the rhino behind us. Tiger poo. <laughs> oh. So they told us uh, this rhino is a bit dangerous. It's smaller than uh, the others, but uh, apparently attacked some people a couple of times and they can recognize him from the ears and from the tail, he doesn't have it anymore. Crossing the river again. Mm. Survived. <laughs> oh, they are crocodiles. <laughs> Some crocodiles, David? Yeah, sure. Waiting for some tired flesh. Here we are. Sunset. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ram and Ryan. <laughs> So here we are, our last evening in Chituan. We are once again here in this buffer zone area, enjoying ourselves, but we have to watch out for elephants and uh, rhinos. Uh, we really enjoyed the Jungle Book Safari. It was amazing. We had a full day walk. We started at 6 a.m. in the morning and then finished at sunset, 6 o'clock. At the beginning, we saw just a couple of animals. We were a bit sad. But after lunch, we managed to see the rhino. It was very big. <laughs> And overall it was an amazing experience, something that you cannot experience anywhere else in the world. You go and you see footprints of different animals, you see the fresh poo, so you know that they are there just around you, very close by. And like the tiger marks were very impressive. We were waiting for the tiger like two hours on the road because they heard that he is nearby and they were telling us. But he didn't cross at the end, but we were very close to him. And yeah, that was uh, pretty amazing, but yeah, also very boring to wait for the animals to pass. But that's part of the game and of the experience of the Jungle Walk Safari. So we highly recommend you that to do it if you can with an eco-sustainable um, agency, tour agency. So at least you would know that you're supporting somebody that doesn't support 
elephant riding, which is very bad. We saw elephants kept in bad condition. Mm, that's true. With a chain and everything, even here. It's so sad to see. Share it with your friends, this video, if they didn't know maybe that you can do such a thing in Nepal and you can see animals, you can do a safari. Hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in the next one. Thank you.